Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to have you here. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make some of your queries faster by leveraging the add extra field method to the glide record API that was added in Washington. There are many times where our glide record queries pull data from tables other than the query. Take this example where we have a simple glide record query on the incident table, but we are outputting the incidents caller's name as well as the incidents caller's company's name. Problem, caller name and caller's company name are not on the incident table. We actually have to dot walk up a reference field in order to get that data. Every time we do, it adds load to the query, which translate into higher processing times. We are going to prove it to you on this video. Okay, check the chapters below because if you're not new to scripting and you just wanna see the results, you can skip right ahead to that. Otherwise, I'm gonna explain this script step by step. The first thing that we have is timer start, timer end, and query runtime. This is so that we can start and stop our timer and then subtract one from the other in order to find the milliseconds it took to do the query. Then we're going to have string builder and what that does is it uses elements from the query that's so that we can dot walk up through the different tables and show that our query is heavier or lighter. And then we are going to use query one and query two variables. These are gonna be separate queries against the incident table. Okay, in this first section, we set timer start to a new glide date time, which is now. And then we have query one, which is a glide record on the incident table. We go ahead and query because we're just gonna grab all the incidents in my demo instance. And while there's entries in that table, we are going to define string builder as the caller ID's name and the caller's company's name. As soon as it's done looping through that query, we are going to set the timer end to a new glide date time, which is now not the same now as we had before. This is now, it's later than the now is before. Now that we have a timer start and a timer end, we are going to do the query runtime. What I love about ServiceNow is if they're already glide dates, we can do a simple this date minus that date gives us a number in milliseconds. Then we're going to print out that query runtime. Now we're just going to scroll down here. And now that we've got the first query timed, we're going to time the second query. So we're going to reset timer start to now, again, a later now than the now before. And query two, we're going to add two elements to it. We got query two dot add extra field caller ID dot name. Caller ID is a field that exists on the incident table. And we're going to go up through that and get dot name. And then we're going to add a second add extra field caller ID dot company dot name. What this does is it gets that information straight away so it's not running extra queries every time. It's gonna get it with the original query. And so we're gonna loop through query two. Again, we're gonna do string builder is the same as the one we did before. Query two dot caller ID dot name plus is part of query two dot caller ID dot company name. It's doing the exact same work here. So then we have the timer end, which is now, which is right after we ran through that query loop. And query runtime, again, we're gonna reset that to whatever timer end is, minus timer start. And then we are going to print out the execution results. Okay, let's get this race started. I'm just gonna hit run script. And oh, query two is only 34 milliseconds compared to query one's 90 milliseconds. That's a 66% better performance. And now you know, if you're gonna use dot walk fields from your glide record queries, for whatever reason, take the extra time, use the add extra field method and save your script precious processing time. I hope you found some wisdom in there. YouTube says you might like either of these, so go check them out. And if you have any suggestions about content you'd like to see, hit me up on the address you see here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.